Hi everyone! I hope you had a really good Easter and I'm really excited. I'm really glad that y'all came back this week uh, for the children's service. And so I want to start today's service like this. I've had a lot of different hairstyles growing up. And sometimes it was short and sometimes, like right now, kind of long. It's long! But would you believe me if I told you I had a mohawk? You might think, hmm. David isn't really, you know, someone who would have a mohawk. I don't know if I can believe him. But well, the answer is, I have. And here's a picture to prove it. And I've even done and had some weird hairstyles like this and like this too. But not really those last two. I cut my hair soon afterwards. Those are just pictures. And so do you have any questions about things that you learn in Sunday school and, you know, or maybe from the Bible? Maybe some of you celebrated Easter last week and, and you have a question. Did, did Jesus really come back from the dead? These questions can be hard to answer. Uh, and sometimes, even from our pastors, our parents, our teachers, they, they have a hard time answering them too. I remember another question that someone in youth group asked me. And it was this. Did Adam and Eve have belly buttons? And I didn't know the answer. I, and I still don't know the answer. But I just, I just know that's one question I'm going to ask when I get to meet God. At least that's just one question I'll ask when I meet God. And sometimes um, we hear and we learn about things. We have questions. And, and sometimes it's hard to believe if it's true. But those questions and those doubts can help us to trust and believe in things even more. In things like God. And so let's look to the Bible to read more about one of my favorite people in the Bible. His name is Doubting Thomas. And so last week, we celebrated that Jesus is risen from the dead! Jesus is alive! Right? He did this thing that no one else could do, this amazing thing. And sometimes it's hard to believe. And so in John 20, verses 24 to 29, there's this story about one of Jesus' disciples named Thomas. And so some people are going to Thomas and telling him, hey, hey, guess what? Jesus is alive. And Thomas says, mm, unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into that mark and place my hand at his side, I will never believe. Then a few days later, Jesus visits his disciples. And everyone sees him. They're like, oh my gosh, is this true? I can't believe it. And somehow Jesus, you know, he's, he's there and he's like, yeah, I'm alive. But he also knows that Thomas has a hard time believing. But Jesus doesn't go and yell at him. Jesus, Jesus doesn't go and tell him, hey, you're not good enough. Hey, why are you asking questions? Hey, why, are you, why is it so hard for you to believe? Jesus goes to Thomas and he, and he says, hey, put your finger here, right here where the mark of my nails are and see my hands and put out your hand and place it at my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas had doubts and questions like anyone else would have had. But once Jesus showed him he was truly alive, Thomas believed. He worshipped God afterwards and was so happy to see Jesus. And so we learn things like this in Sunday school, maybe from other places, and we wonder if it's really true. Did little David really beat Goliath? Is God really good? Is God really one in Trinity, Trinity in unity with no levels of hierarchy or being and truly one in essence but unique in their persons? Don't worry about that last one. It's for now, you know, that, that's something for later. <laughs> or other times, maybe we'll ask God questions and it's hard for us to get answers and then it'll be hard for us to believe, right? Does God even hear my prayers? Does he answer them? You know, maybe, maybe life would be easier if we could just be like Thomas who saw and touched Jesus. But thankfully, Jesus, Jesus knows that we'll have questions. And he even said to Thomas, have you believed because you have seen me? 
Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Because there will be times where we don't have our questions answered, but God will still help us to believe in Him. And we will be blessed for that. And we can know that our questions and our doubts, they're not bad. And God will still be patient with us when we have them. And one day when we see God, we will know and with no doubt that He is good and we will all be able to worship, worship Him together. Amen. And I hope you have a, a good rest of the day and a good Sunday and a good week. Bye!